Okay, we are back. We're gonna go over a series from the Bravo choke tail wrapping craziness. Um, and as my good friend once said, I had a really good friend who, 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 who made this statement once, and it sounds really stupid, but I, it, it, it's kind of funny. The opposite of no gi is gi. So if you're wearing the gi, I think it's fun to kind of play around with the opportunities and all the things that, that can happen with it. So choking him with your gi, choking him with, with his own gi, it's all fun, right? I mean, it's a way to get creative. So one of the first things I do when I compete, I shouldn't tell this so the guys scout me out, is I rip the gi out because I want to use that later, especially when I get in the guard or in a passing position. Those are the two positions where I'm going to use it the most is to be able to wrap this tail around and there's all sorts of things you can do. And I'm sure there's a boatload of instructionals out there. Let's turn this way a little bit. There's a boatload of instructionals out there with the Bravo. This is just a series that I like to go through. Okay, so number one, I wanna get this on the outside if I can. I wanna just kinda of lay it out there so it's, it's, it's available, okay? I wanna get my hand deep in the collar and I wanna break him down. So if I get him down, I want to make sure, number one, this hand is nice and deep in the collar. And if it's hanging out here, I'm going to use this as opposed to this grip here because it's a little bit more solid. It's easier to hold on. And I'm not going to wrap up a whole lot of material. I'm just going to use that right there. And I'm going to move and go here right for the collar choke. Now, most people are pretty sensitive to that, right? I may break them down, but they're going to defend really well. So now I'm going to make the switch. I'm gonna come here, and both my hands are like this at first. And I really, really need this to be super tight, so feeding it like here is not my favorite way to do it. It's definitely doable, but it's not my favorite. I feel like it's easier to get a good grip when I turn my hands like this, because I know where the slack is, I know how tight it is already, and now I wanna take this hand to feed the head over and move my body here. Now I've got a super tight grip on that, that collar. Okay, or the tail rather. So when I come over here, I'm gonna use this. Boom, now there's my cross collar choke. Again, a higher level guy is gonna defend right away and this is gonna open up the opportunity to go here for the Bravo. So I'm gonna pull the other, if he defends here, does the answer the phone, whatever. I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna grab his elbow, pull it across, bring my chest up. You can push this arm across, it's not necessarily uh, you know, needed, but once I'm here like this, I'm gonna pull in with my legs and I bring my chest up to trap that arm, okay? So expand with your chest, pull your shoulder blades back, super tight. Now, let's talk about the guy who's got really crazy good posture. He postures up and I can't reach it, that's okay. I still have a use for it. I'm gonna hold this up and now I'm gonna reach here. So I've taken the slack out and I'm gonna reach as deep as I can to grab that grip right there. Now it's a much better, tighter handle when I wanna go for the arm lock. So I'm gonna pull here, foot on the hip, and now we're gonna go for the arm lock, boom. Now I've got it. If I go here and he recognizes I'm pulling the arm, you know, and he's gonna tuck it, he hides it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna wrap this around his neck, and now we got the choke. If he tucks his face, it's not very nice, but if he tucks his face, I come here, and I'm gonna do this sweep and it's kind of a kind of a cranking your face jaw sort of position I wouldn't do that to my my friend BJ doesn't mind um, but uh, you know it's good for the sweep I don't want to crush my friend's jaw but I'll still use it for the handle for the sweep he's got his arm trapped in there the whole mess uh, so that's my sort of favorite chain from the tail wrapping around crazy Bravo attack series. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, and if you like our videos, uh, subscribe, please share them and uh, let us know what you think.